Thrivecart success page. In this video, we're gonna cover how to customize the Thrivecart success page. To be clear, we're not using a custom URL for fulfillment. The advantage of this is you avoid any kind of cross-domain tracking issues. And the reason you might wanna do this is because you can personalize the Thrivecart success page. My motivation comes from being able to allow auto login from this page to membership sites that require an email address. That link below has the code you're going to need to install on your success page. And to be clear, the way we would have done this is we would have set the fulfillment URL to a send them to a URL and the success page to a redirect to your custom page. Instead, we're gonna display their total invoice, which we'll customize, and the success page is that customizable success page. That little image on the left is an example of Active Member 360 setup for auto login. We're gonna take, for instance, that success URL and embed it on the customizable success page. So let's dive right in. Now to start with, I'm gonna show you why this is possible. This would be a typical Thrivecart success page, no modifications done to this. If I was to actually view the source code, and I'll be honest, you're gonna to have to dig in a little bit here, I can see my name, I can see my email, and information about my purchase. I'm gonna copy that just so I can show you what this does. I'm gonna to go to a site called unminify.com, and I think I wanna get rid of that. Click on unminify, and it kinda of show you all the information. So there's this Thrivecart order, there's a customer, there's the customer name, the customer email some information about the order, the invoice ID. So you could take all that information and display it. Now, I suspect there's more information, for instance, if you had a physical product. This is what I've pulled out for this product. And the ones that are important to me are the customer name, customer email, and the product name. So to show you, here's the code I want. I know, it looks like a mess. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all this. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into this code editor because I wanna make a start with a simple version and then build my way up. So for instance, if I'm gonna wanna display the person's name and email address or product they bought, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of all this stuff right there. Now, you do need to know a little HTML. So here's an example. And then I need to put a little tick, space, plus, Right there, what that message is gonna do, and let me finish that off, is gonna say, thank you, Dave, for purchasing this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this and go into my Thrivecart account. And notice I've got display their total invoice. I'm gonna go to checkout, and this actually does work with both the new cart and the legacy. Um, I'm gonna use the new cart version, and I think I'm using this guy. Go to design, launch the editor. I'm gonna go to success page, and I'm gonna drop some cust or I'm gonna drop in some custom HTML. I'm gonna put it at the top. Come over here to enter this, just paste that in. Click on done, click on next. Now, I've already made a purchase, so I'm just gonna refresh this screen. So there it is. Thank you, this person, me, for purchasing this product. Now that's one thing you can do. Um, in my opinion, I'm more interested in the auto login capability. So that's a good start in my opinion. But let me show you what else you could do. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code. And instead, I've already set this mostly up. So I'm dialed this in. I basically swiped Thrivecart button code and put it in here. So yeah, you do need to know a little thing about here. So what I've done is I want them to click here for access to the product. And here is the important part. And yes, I do not own the domain example.com, but I'm gonna replace that with, and this is for instance, the typical format for active member 360's uh, auto login capability. And I'm gonna go ahead and put an ampersand email equals. Now my assumption is when you're doing this is that you're using Thrivecart's behavior rules to connect, in this case, to active campaign, apply the appropriate tags for membership access, run whatever automations like a member gen pass, so that when somebody clicks on this link, they've already got that stuff set up. And the reason I mention that is because sometimes there's some servers that can be slow to respond. And for instance, if the person that's purchasing is not already in your email system, for instance, Active Member 360 will add them to the Active Campaign account and then grant them access. That takes a little bit of time. 
And if your server's a bit slow, that might be problematic. There might be a timeout and they get redirected to a page, the, the default success page. And that's not a good experience, especially if they expect to be able to log in automatically. So in this case, I've got a button I'm gonna put here. I'm gonna go in and grab all this code back to Thrivecart. I'm gonna edit the checkout again, go to success page, click on the custom HTML block, and this might seem a little sneaky, but I'm gonna put a video up there. And the reason I'm doing that part is, you know, you might have a video that says, thank you. Um, and it's kind of a way for them to delay actually accessing the product. I wanna give Thrivecard the ability to communicate via behavior rules with my email system while I'm distracting them over here with a video. That's not really the case, but it sounds good. So I'm gonna go ahead, find my embed code, paste it in, click on done, click on next. Click on save and get URL. And again, I've already made a purchase, so I am just going to refresh this. So there we go. Now I've got a video on top. I've got the invoice down below. I've got this button they can click. And again, I don't own example.com and it's starting up in there, but I'm able to paste in the appropriate code and the email address that allow me to auto log in. So that's how you can customize the Thrivecart success page.